Absolutely not. You start housing patients who look healthy at the Civic Center, you're gonna break quarantine. Boyd? Oh my god. No, don't touch him. Send thermite, doc. And I need one of the Russians. I'll explain later. N6, send them fast before this all burns down. Hey guys and welcome to another video. Now, a few hours ago the update for Rainbow Six Siege's outbreak dropped. And now I don't play Rainbow that much anymore. However, this was enough to bring me back to want to play it for at least a little bit. So as soon as the servers went back up, I jumped into a game, played through to the end of that round as Doc, and now I'm going to give my thoughts on it a little bit. Now bear in mind this will be completely opinion based, your opinion may differ or your experiences may differ, or you might just like different things than me. So keeping that in mind, let's continue. I guess like reading a book it only makes sense to go left to right, so we'll go from start to finish of what I noticed. Okay, so when you first start it up, you'll get a really cool cinematic that's a lot longer than the one I had at the start of the video. I didn't want to make it too long, but I wanted it in there. Just so anyone that hadn't seen it yet would get a little bit of a taste before they booted it up for themselves. Now, how good was that cinematic though? Like a lot of the original operator's cinematics were good, but even by that standard, that took it to a whole new level. Moving on from there, in the particular round that I loaded in on, instead of just your normal Rainbow Siege drop in and off you go, you've got like a mini cinematic where you see your operators actually pulling up on the operation. While it was wasn't much, it did look really really clean and I think that it added that little bit extra to it. One thing I have to say is I was playing as Doc throughout all this, and I'm by no means a Doc player, like I really dislike playing Doc. I'm more of a Frost and a Caveira. But this game mode actually makes you want to play Doc. Just in case one of your teammates gets down, you can come in clutch so easy with that little pistol and it can make all the difference. I can see Doc being a definite must have for the harder difficulties. Not only does having his stim pistol come in handy, but using the P90 feels pretty nice too. Being that I never thought I'd ever play a game mode like this or anything even close to this in Rainbow Six Siege, I expected it to be full of bugs. But so far it feels pretty clean. I think the only thing I've come across so far is the AI behaving a little strangely sometimes. Like at one stage my stim pistol was actually out of ammo and I was able to go and revive my teammates while being assaulted by the infected. But I'd take that with a grain of salt because this was on the lowest difficulty and I do feel if it was on a higher difficulty then you wouldn't be able to just simply stand there and tank damage. One thing that I think they did really really smart with this is they keep you moving just enough so you don't feel like you're waiting around in the same area for a long period of time. You sort of get to an area, get swarmed by a horde, defend it, and then you move on to the next area. It doesn't feel like other games versions of these type of game modes where you're kind of just running around in circles for ages until you inevitably die. With the fact that there's a good balance of different types of infected to fight along the way, it doesn't really feel like it's rinse and repeat the whole way along, and the fact that they can come from all different areas adds a nice effect as well. All this while having to move between objectives really stops this game mode from becoming boring, because you never feel like you're stagnant and just sitting in the one place. When you get to an objective you'll be able to reinforce the walls and there'll be certain things you can resupply there. A couple things I did like was with the wall reinforcements which you do have to pick up as though you're rearming. When you place down the reinforcements the speed is increased like it's a little bit faster than what it would be in a normal multiplayer game which is really nice because the last thing you want to be doing in a game like this is whacking up walls while you're getting clobbered by infected. Now with the other types of rearming you've got one to fully do your health, you've got one for your gadgets such as stim pistol in my case and you've got one for your ammo. Now these can only be used three times, which works out well with the amount of characters that are actually in a round. These objectives when you get to them, the most common one seems to be like a hold and defend. You find like this big gross pillar thing hanging out of the roof, which I believe is referred to as a weak point. You go up to it and you place like a fuse charge on it and then you have to defend it for a little bit while being swarmed by the horde. While I do imagine this would get pretty hectic in the hard difficulty, on the easier difficulties it doesn't feel like it would be so hard that casual players wouldn't be able to enjoy it as well. So overall, what do I think of it? Well, as I said earlier, I don't play Doc. But the way they've done it, it actually makes you want to play characters that help your teammates out. And I imagine you only want to play more useful characters the higher the difficulty goes because there's a bigger cost if one of your teammates gets down. So they've done a really good job of making you feel like you want to play somebody useful, which a lot of games fail to do. And again, we're moving you around the map. They don't keep you in the one spot for too long, so you don't feel like you're going stagnant. It feels like you're moving along at just the right pace and stopping the fight at just the right times. And as for bugs, I can't say I've encountered any yet, with the exception of running into AI behavior being a little strange 
it sometimes, but that could be just down to the lower difficulty setting. So overall, I think they've done pretty good with this, and it's not something I'd expect to see in a rainbow game, ever. And when I first heard about it, I expected the worst, I'll be honest. But overall, it feels like they've done a really, really solid job. So if you haven't played Rainbow in a little bit, and you was wondering whether it was worth giving this a try, absolutely. Like, I probably wouldn't go out and buy a rainbow just to play this, especially with it not being a guaranteed permanent game mode yet. But if you already have the game, definitely give it a go. It's a lot of fun and it's one of the strangest things you ever experience in Siege, I guarantee that. Now here's just a little personal hope, hopefully this encourages them to keep this game mode around because it does seem like it'll be a lot of fun and I'd like to see where it ends up. I'd also like to see them add a co-op campaign style game mode to the game, or even some random co-op missions, with every time they release new operators coming out with a new set of missions. That just further add to the story. But this has just been a small little look into Rainbow Six Siege's outbreak. Be sure to download it, give it a try, and I shall see you in the next video. Let's Later, go. guys. I'm unstoppable to the impossible. I'm irresponsible. Oh. Yeah, I'm phenomenal. Yeah. I got an arsenal. Oh, yeah. I'm dropping bombs, you know. Oh, yeah. No one I'm stopping, no. Let's go. Conquer the obstacle. Yeah. To the top, here I go, think I'm chosen. Yeah. To be the king of rock, think the people are spoken.